What's up guys? Haven't made an update type video in a while. Um, been pretty busy this week. Had a lot of orders, but I'm just about caught up here. Lone Wolf, your Quaken will be done soon. There's the backspacer, it's not cut out, and the bigger thumb stud. That should be a a lot better than that small one. He has the um, the brown scale quaken, so it's got that real small circle thumb. What did I say? Thumb stud, thumb disc. I mean, it's got the real small thumb disc. So, yeah, I try not to make this video too long. We'll just get right into it. Got Will Cannons, Spider Co, Tenacious, Green Liners. This one was definitely inspired by Tough Thumbs. I'm not sure which knife he did it on. I just know I've seen something somewhere where he did one similar to this. So I kind of was thinking of that while I was doing it. And of course, like all the budget Spider Co's I do, I did the wave opener. And yes, it is functional. I get so many people to ask me if... It is actually functional if it actually works. And the answer is yes, it works. I would not put it on there if it didn't work. Next here we have Eric Anderson's um, Boker Albatross. And don't think because I'm saying their names, I'm just like dropping everybody's names up there. I asked them if I could give them a shout out, but I forget their... Instagram names. I know Will's is Will Cannon 38 I hope. I forget Eric's. I'm sorry, man. But yes, this is Albatross. Originally, we talked about doing a random pattern, like a random fade. And I just wasn't liking it. I don't know. So switched it up and did the crater. Like the crater low fade. Fades real low down there, so... I don't think it looks too bad. The pocket clip was giving me a little bit of trouble because every time I tried to, I was just trying to do like little holes just here and there, make it look kind of spotted. But every time I'd try to drill a hole, the pocket clip would just bend up like that. So I got it all straightened back out and everything, but that was kind of weird. Um... Okay. We got Kershaw Thermites. Talk about this one first. This one is Lone Wolf, who so I'm doing the Quaken for as well. Yeah, he just wanted a random scall scalloped pattern on there. And I took away the cheesy ass fucking Kershaw. What do you call it? G10 design, whatever they had in it. It was pretty bad. I don't have another one laying around to show you what it looked like if you haven't seen it, but Kershaw's patterns lately are pretty shitty. I think they should just stick with regular G10 or just get some new materials to work with, make something out of fucking, I don't know. If they're getting bored of the G10 and they're putting a bunch of weird shit on, I think they just need to use something else. They're putting these K's all over their knives now. It looks pretty bad. But enough about the Kershaw rant. Yeah, he said, Lone Wolf said he had a half chub when I posted the picture of it. So I guess that's his approval. Um, he's been waiting for the, this was actually done pretty quick. He's been waiting on the quake in a little bit. It's been longer than I told him it would be. So I'm going to give him some Schmuckatelli beads on the quake and this one. And this one is actually mine that I just finished up not too long ago. This one was given to me by um, Brian, Knife Guy one He had originally, I think he pre-ordered his. He had, yeah, he had it pre-ordered, and when he got it, there was a scratch on the lock here, and also everything, the Loctite was so strong, he wasn't able to unscrew anything on the knife besides I think the only thing was the pivot 
So he called Kershaw. They hooked him up, sent him a new one, and then he had those two. And then, yeah, he didn't have to send the other one in. They just sent him another one. And then they just randomly sent him a third one. And they just told him to keep it. So that's pretty cool. So he sent me one to pimp, and he sent me the other one just to keep. And today I finally got around to doing something to it. I don't really have too many knives of mine that are pimped or have anything done to them, so thought I'd go for it. I've worked on the thermites a lot, so yeah, I to get that Loctite off, I thought a well, I was talking to the guys at the at my knife store and they said and they run into that kind of shit all the time, so they said use a heat gun and stick the heat gun on it for a little bit and sometimes that'll melt the Loctite a little bit and get it to come off. It did absolutely nothing. The um, metal got so hot, it was like I had to drop water on it to quench it, and it was sizzling. That did absolutely nothing, so I just said screw it, took the blowtorch to it, and the Loctite, actually, I did the blowtorch from the other side, but the Loctite caught on fire, like flames this tall coming out of the little holes up there. So, yeah, they pretty much caked it on there, the whole inside of this frame here is just blue burnt Loctite shit, so. Good job, Kershaw. G10 didn't turn out as good as I thought. I might give it more of like a little fade out. It kind of just stops abruptly, but this one's just mine. Not too worried about it. Um, I think that's about it. Not too much other stuff going on. If you have orders with me, make sure you get your payment in so I can ship them back out to you soon here. And if any of you guys are going to the New York Custom Knife Show, hit me up on Instagram or private message me on here or something. Um, I don't really know too many people that are going. But yeah, I think that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys.